Hi, have you ever wondered what is the mystery of integrating factor? What is integrating factor? Let's recall an example. Suppose you are going to solve the equation dy dx plus y equal to 1. How do you solve this? Recall that this is a linear equation where p of x is equal to 1. First, you find the integrating factor. p of x equal to e power integration of px dx where p of x is equal to 1. And integration of 1 is x. So, mu x is equal to e power x. Next, you multiply the equation both sides by integrating factor mu x equal to e of x then I'll get e of x dy dx plus e of x times y equal to e of x now then combine the left hand side into one single differentiation differentiation of e of x times y you can check by using product rule differentiation of e of x times y is equal to e of x times dy dx plus y times differentiation of e power x and then differentiation of e power x is e power x again so the left hand side of double star is a single differentiation so now double star can be rewrite as differentiation of e x times y equal e power x Next, the fourth step is integrate both sides now. So I have e power x on y equal to integration of e power x dx, and then integration of ex e power x plus constant. Divide both sides by e power x, I get ex over ex plus c over ex, which is 1 plus c times e power minus x. In general, Given dy dx plus px times y equal to k of x, the integrating factor mu of x is equal to e power integration of px dx. But why this work? Let's find out the correct form of mu of x by looking at this equation again. dy dx plus px times y equal to k of x. Multiply both sides by mu x to both. So mu x dy dx plus mu x px times y equal to mu x qx. Now, if you want to combine the left hand side into single term, let's look at this differentiation of mu x times y. It's actually mu x dy dx plus y differentiation of mu x dx. Now, as we want to combine the left hand side, of the equation, I will solve this equation to this form. Therefore, the left hand side of this equation, that means this term here, must be equal to this. So we equate these two in here. Then we make comparison. So when you make comparison, you find that mu x dy dx is cancelled, and then y also cancelled. Then we have mu x px must be equal to differentiation of mu x dx. Therefore, by separating mu and p, I get px dx equal to differentiation of mu x over mu x. Now integrating both sides. The left hand side, I integrate, I get ln mu x. And the right hand side is just integration of px. Then remove the ln. I get mu x equal to e 
power integration of px dx. This explains why dy dx plus px times y equal to qx. We must have mu x, the integrating factor, equal to e power integration of px dx. And then we get the solution px times y equal to the integration of mu x, qx dx. That is the end of the recording.